Good morning, grade 7 students, and welcome back to another English lesson. In this lesson, we are working on the second part of the lesson 7b. There are two learning objectives in today's lesson. So by the end of this video, you will be able to first locate specific information after scanning the text, and second, learn about suffixes full and less. So get your books and open your student book to page 90 and 91 and your workbook to page 96. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start the part of the lesson 7b by reading the text Give a Helping Hand. First, you are going to listen to the text and then you are going to practice reading by yourself. So please follow along with your finger or pencil while listening to the reading text and pay attention to pronunciation. 7b. 1. Read. Give a helping hand. How do you help out other people and your community? Share your experience with us. I love cycling. So when I heard about the charity race, I immediately signed up. Races are fun, but when you also help raise money for a good cause, in this case, the children's hospital, they're even more important. I paid £10 to take part. It might not seem like a lot, but it's still very helpful. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough, so I didn't win. But that doesn't matter, because I still helped out by taking part. Justin, 14. While I was cleaning out my wardrobe last weekend, I found some clothes I didn't wear any longer because they were too small for me. Why don't I give them away, I thought. So I took them to the clothing bin at my school. An amazing organisation collects these clothes and gives them to people in need, like the homeless. Remember, don't throw things away. Give them to a good cause. Other people might find them useful. Omar, 14. My brother and I often help out at a local animal shelter. Volunteers can play with the animals, feed them, and give them baths. Last week, they brought a kitten to the shelter, Blanca. She wasn't like the other cats. Unfortunately, Blanca was blind. She was helpless and needed a home, so I decided to adopt her. Our mum wasn't crazy about it, but when she saw Blanca, she changed her mind. Kathy, 13. Great. Now it's your turn to read. Please pause the video and read the text out loud. Alright, after reading the text, let's work on exercise C in your student book, page 91. For this exercise, you need to read again and choose the correct answer. A, B or C. Let's read the statements. Number one, this person is a volunteer at an organization that helps animals. Number two, this person gave away something that he or she didn't use anymore. Number three, this person took part in an event to help other people. Number four, this person's mother didn't want to adopt an animal in the beginning. Number five, this person's school helps an organization that collects clothes for the homeless. Let's answer the first one together as an example. Number one, this person is a volunteer at an organization that helps animals. So is it A, Justin, B, Omar, or C, Kathy? In the text, Justin signed up for a charity race. Omar donated old clothes that he didn't wear anymore. And it is Kathy who helps out at a local animal shelter with her brother. So, the correct answer is C, Kathy. Now pause the video, complete exercise C, and come back when you are done to check your answers. Welcome back. Let's check your answers. Number two, this person gave away something that he or she didn't use anymore. Is it A, Justin? B, Omar, or C, Kathy. In the second paragraph, Omar found some old clothes that he didn't wear any longer because they were too small for him. So, 
he took them to the clothing bin at his school. So this means that the correct answer is B, Omar. Number three, this person took part in an event to help other people. Is it A, Justin, B, Omar, or C, Kathy? As you can see in the text, Justin is the one who heard about the charity race and immediately signed up. So the correct answer is A, Justin. Number four, this person's mother didn't want to adopt an animal in the beginning. Is it A, Justin's, B, Omar's, or C, Kathy's? When Kathy decided to adopt the helpless kitten Blanca, her mom wasn't crazy about it. So if your answer is C, Kathy's, then you are right. Finally, number five. This person's school helps an organization that collects clothes for the homeless. Is it A, Justin's, B, Omar's, or C, Kathy's? If you go back to the text again, you will see that there's an amazing organization that collects these clothes and gives them to people in need. And this organization collects these clothes from Omar's school. So the correct answer is B, Omar's. Now that we are done with the reading comprehension questions, let's answer the following questions in the over to you section. Let's start with question number one. How do you help others? What are different ways you can think of to help people who are in need? You could answer, my school collects toys at the beginning of the school year for poor children. So I collect the toys that I don't play with anymore and take them to school. Next. Have you ever taken part in a charity event? What type of charity event was it? Well, if your answer is yes to these questions, then you could say, yes, I have. My father and I took part in a cycling charity race. We had a lot of fun and we helped at the same time. However, if your answer is no, you could answer, no, I haven't yet. But this year, there will be a charity event in my town. There will be an art exhibition and the money raised will be given to the hospital to buy new equipment. Next, should people give money to charity and why? You know that charities are organizations that help people or animals that need help. Look at the following example. You could answer. I think it's important to give money to charity because this way we can offer more help to people in need. Finally, what do you do with your old things that you don't need anymore? For example, you could answer, for example, you could answer, every summer my family and I collect clothes and shoes that we don't wear anymore and give them to charities. Now it's your turn to answer these questions. Please pause the video and share your answers with your teachers and classmates on Teams. Great, we have achieved the first objective of the lesson. We located specific information after scanning the text. Now let's work on the second objective of the lesson. Look at the highlighted words in the text, which has a positive meaning and which a negative meaning. Let's find the words helpful and helpless in the text. There. I paid 10 pounds to take part. I paid 10 pounds to take part. It might not seem like a lot, but it's still very helpful. Let's read what came before the word helpless to try and figure out the meaning of the word helpless as well. Last week they brought a kitten to the shelter, Blanca. She wasn't like the other cats. Unfortunately, Blanca was blind. She was helpless and needed a home. So I decided to adopt her. So does the word helpful have a positive meaning or a negative meaning? Great, helpful has a positive meaning, while helpless has a negative meaning. So what did we add to the word help to add a positive meaning or a negative meaning? That's right, the suffixes full and less. 
So what's the meaning of the word suffix that I have just used? It simply means, my dear students, a letter or a group of letters which is added at the end of the words in order to change their meanings or functions. So let's go back and focus on the suffix full and the suffix less. So we form many adjectives by adding a suffix full or less to a noun. Well, what's the difference between the suffix full and the suffix less? The suffix full means having this quality. As for the suffix less, it means without this quality. For example, Ahmed handled his father's camera with great care. He held it with both hands and walked slowly. Use the suffix full or less to describe Ahmed's action. Ahmed was careful or careless. Amazing! Ahmed was careful. On the other hand, Ahmed's brother Khalid did not handle the camera with great care. He ran around the house with the camera in his hands. He took no care with it at all. Finally, he threw it on the sofa and broke it. So, when we want to describe Khalid, what do we say? Khalid was careful or careless? That's correct. Khalid was careless. Now, Let's practice these suffixes by completing the exercise in your student book, page 91. Use the nouns given to form adjectives and complete the sentences. Let's do number one together as an example. The internet is very blank when you need information for a school project. The word is use. So do we add the suffix full or less? Perfect. The internet is very useful when you need information for a school project. We use the suffix full because the internet has this quality. Now pause the video, complete the exercise, and come back when you are done. Welcome back. Let's check your answers. Number two, don't be afraid of the snake. It's blank. And the word here is harm. So how do I form an adjective? Do I use the suffix full or the suffix less to form the adjective? Great. If your answer is harmless, then you are correct. Number three, pollution is very blank to the environment. And the word again is harm. So yes, of course, pollution is very harmful to the environment. Number four, my mobile phone is blank. It doesn't work anymore. Because we know that the mobile phone doesn't work anymore, the correct answer is useless. My mobile phone is useless, it doesn't work anymore. Finally, number five, I went to the doctor and he was very blank. He told me exactly what to do. Yes, bravo, the correct answer is helpful. I went to the doctor and he was very helpful. He told me exactly what to do. Now let's move on to exercise B in your workbook, page 96. For this exercise, you need to form adjectives from the nouns given to complete the sentences. Use the suffixes full or less. Let's do number one together as an example. Muna was very help. She gave us a lot of information about the charity event. So since Muna gave us a lot of information about the charity event, we cannot say that she was helpless. So the correct answer is, she was helpful. Now pause the video, complete the rest of the exercise, and come back when you are done to check your answers. All right, let's see how well you did in this exercise. Number two, why don't you recycle this? Use computer, it doesn't work. Well, this computer does not work anymore, and we can't use it anymore. So, the correct answer is, of course, useless. Next, number three, my uncle Scott is a volunteer at the local center for home people. Do you remember the adjective that we use to describe people who don't have homes? That's right. My uncle Scott is a volunteer at the local center for homeless people. Number four, when babies are born, they are help they need their parents well if your answer is helpless then you are correct 
Number five, air pollution is harm to humans and animals. So do we use the suffix full or less? That's correct. Air pollution is harmful to humans and animals. Finally, number six, don't be scared of the spider. It's harm. So do we say harmful or harmless? That's right. Don't be scared of the spider. It's harmless. Great, dear students, we have achieved the second and last objective. We learned about the suffixes full and less. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.